Hello students, welcome to Login Tutorials. In this session, we are going to cover our third practical of web application development that is create version control account on GitHub and using git commands to create repository and push your code to GitHub. For this, we need to create an account on GitHub. We have already created responsive website and javascript program to get and store data into a local repository. So we are going to store our responsive web page on github repository. If you are using a windows operating system, for git practical you require the git bash software. So download the git bash software for windows version Hit on this first link, hit download. For windows version, download for windows. After downloading, you can install that git bash. The git bash is already available on my computer. And if suppose you are using the open to operating system, at that time you just give the command from the terminal sudo apt git install git. By using this command, the git is installed on Ubuntu operating system. For git practical, you need to have the account on GitHub. So for that, create an account on GitHub. So this is the home page for GitHub. If you don't have account, then go for sign up. If you have account, then go for sign up. My account is already available on GitHub. I just tell you how to create an account on GitHub. Enter your email. Give your email ID. Press continue. Create a password. Password should be strong. Continue. Enter a username. Would you like to receive product updates and announcements via email? I type no. Continue. After that last step, verify your account. Just click create account. It, it will create your account for get the repository. Then go for sign in. Give your email and password. I have created with the help of rubik.tvkarakter.abcoe.org I provide my password and sign in So this is home page At top of the right side your profile photo is available your profile information, your repository, your project, multiple things are available here. We need this your repository tab. Press on it. So I have created a multiple repositories here. Now for this practical, we need to create a new repository. Click on this new. The repository name is Vad Prat Tree. If you want to provide a description, you can provide it in the optional field. Your repository is always public because anyone on the internet can see this repository. If you want to add a readme file, then you can click on this. Without adding readme file, I create the repository. 
the repository is created with the name var write three. So these are the commands to push your local machine code on the remote repository. So first command is git init. Here I want to push this practical one on my repository. So I just go inside the practical first, right click, git bash here, click on this. The git bash is open for this part. And try your name is G, bad folder practical. Here they have provided some of the command. First command is git init. So I am giving git initialization command. Init is nothing but initialization. Enter. Very initialize existing git repository in G. If you are working on first time, at that time initialized git repository, that message you are going to get. Next, git add hyphen hyphen a. All the files and folder are ready to add into the repository. Next command is git commit hyphen message first commit. Git commit hyphen m that is message. You can provide any message inside this double quote. Here I am giving responsive web page enter next is here I am not providing any branches for my project so I never give you this command git branch hyphen m main if you want to give you can give the same command git branch hyphen m main this is the command Next command is connecting our local folder with the remote repository. Local folder is practical one and the remote repository is VAD Pract3. Remote repository is VAD Pract3. So connection or binding is there with the help of this command. Enter. If you are providing first time this command, then there is no any error. I have already providing this command, so that's why remote origin already exists. That message I am getting or error I am getting. After that, git push hyphen u origin main. Copy this command. Paste this command. Enter. It will require the username for https github.com Here I am providing my username is Rohit Devikar So here Rohit Devikar Ok And the password for Rohit Devikar is Not your login password If I am providing the login password then what happens? Suppose Okay, so here some error authentication failed message that I am going to get. So again I am providing this command git push hyphen u origin main. So username is same Rohit Devikar. Enter and password is go to setting. After that Scroll down, developer settings, here personal access token is there, token classic is there, click on this, generate new token tag is there, generate new token classic, notice nothing but only give the name for the token, I am providing bad bracket as a token. Validity is 30 days. 
and scope select each and every scope for this token select each and every content generate token here token is generated copy this token go to this tab paste press ok i require this token again so i copied it into notepad this is my token some error is there rpc failed so we will check whether the local data is stored into the repository or not bad practical thing no data is available so instead of this last command git push hyphen u origin main I am providing simply the master source respect master does not match any main here username Rohit Devikar enter password is a generated token. Control A, copy, paste it, hit enter. It will done correctly. So check our repository. Where three? See here the HTML is there. So all files push on to remote repository successfully. So we are having this all the files available in this local folder. Activities, these are the images, index.html, file is there, again style.css, two files are there and all other are images. Only two files are available and all others are images. So in the repository, all the images png extension one is html file index.html and this style.css file is available for this we have given the commit name commit message name as responsive web page so same thing is available here that is commit one if suppose i'm adding any content suppose from practical to i am adding this login into this practical one and give the command git add hyphen hyphen a after that git a commit and giving the message login page added press enter one file change and the file name is login page added i have already connected our local folder with the remote repository now no need to connect our local folder with the remote repository only push our single file that is login page to the remote repository so for that command is required git push hyphen u origin main and press enter again username is required rohit devikar and 
password is copy it paste it enter only one file is added and that will be show into this repository press on the code so commit is two times for second commit login page added successfully total two commits available responsive web page this is the first commit and the second commit is login page added these two commits that we are going to get so each and every time whenever there is an application is available within the code you can commit that code with the help of different different messages so anyone those are using your repository he or she will know which page is added in which commit also we are providing the message that is login page is added so in this commit login page is added that the end user should understood so this is about create a version control account on github that we have created our version control account and using git command to create the repository if you are using the windows operating system it will require the git bash if you are using the ubuntu operating system for that only one command is required sudo apt hyphen git install git after installing the git open that git command prompt and only provide the command that is represented in the repository first command is git init that is git initialization second command is git add third command is git commit fourth command is git remove that is we need to bind our local folder or the local machine folder with the remote repository and last command most important command is the word git push by using that git push we are pushing our local machine data to the remote repository so this is about create a version control account and by using the git command we push our code to github so the code is available here this is our first practical that we have pushed into the git repository that is bad prac 3 this is our repository i hope you understood this practical please like and subscribe my channel thank you